Can you guess who this author is? Can, can you can you guess? Have you seen the recent types of videos I've been doing? Yeah, it's James DeSantis. Hello once again readers of Good Books. My name is Nick Pell and this is once again coming from my college dorm. Now today I'm reviewing the latest short story from author James DeSantis. This is his book called Another Day at the Office. This is a very short short story and it deals with a man named Stuart. He is the main character in this book and we see most of the events through his perspective and we see him go into his office on his day off for an unknown purpose and things begin to happen from that. We have three main characters in the story. One is Stuart himself, one is his best friend Nick, and one is his boss. All these characters obviously run into each other. I won't say how or why. Stuart as a character though is really really interesting because you get to see kind of how he is justifying the actions that he is committing. Obviously I don't think there's a lot of psychological research done in the realms of the mind frames of people who commit the acts that are done in the story, but it's still an interesting look into it regardless because it kind of gives the outside perception of what one would think would be going through the mind of someone and the justifications for that stuff. And one thing that James DeSantis has done in the many works of his that I've read thus far is that he's always able to use detail not too much but not too little and it really frames the picture of the story really really well and it's just the same with this story Another Day at the Office. I was able to picture everything that was happening really, really well, all the actions and the scenes that were going on, and it's just, it's just really, really cool to see that happen in a story by a relatively new author. The ending is also very cool because it is a connection to another one of the short stories that James has done, Killing Your Boss, so I will let you read if you have read that story, which was on my top 10 of 2014. Definitely check that out, and then check this one out. Because there is... There is a connection, it's not a strong connection, but there is something there at the end, so it will kind of pique your interest. Only two real issues with this story. One is that it's short. I would like to see a lot more things happen, or a lot more build up to happen, instead of just boom, we're right into the day that all this stuff goes down. And also, I would have liked to see a little bit more character development. Obviously with a story that's relatively short, it's kind of hard to do that. but. This is one thing that a lot of his short stories tend to lack is a lot of character development. Characters don't characters are very stoic. They don't really change a whole lot. Their motivations and backgrounds become unraveled as the story happens, but a lot of the times the characters themselves don't really undergo any significant changes, unless it's a novel like Exterminators or Sparks. Uh, those are my two regrets. They're kind of just general things, but they're still very much present. Those are my thoughts on Another Day at the Office. It's available right now on Kindle for 99 cents on Amazon.com, so go check it out if you're interested. And if you have read it, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments down below. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, fair comment, and subscribe. Once again, if you so choose, I'd appreciate it immensely. And as always, my good people, my name is Nick Pell. And once again, keep on reading.